Hey, it's Random Code here, and today I want to showcase how we can get text input in Kotlin. And more specifically, we're going to use something called an edit text component. And for this showcase, I'll just use plain text input. And in my last video, I built a simple application with a button. Whenever this button is clicked, I just every time print button click to the console. We would now, then in our activity main.xml, like to add our plain text, which behind all of this is an edit text component. I would then just constrain it to the sides, make it standard, constrain it to our button. Let's move it down a bit. Let's do 50. Like that. We would then like to define an ID for our plain text input. Here in the attributes, I would just change the ID to something a bit more simple. Let's just call it text input. We would refactor. We would then now inside our main activity to access this plain text component. I would then create a late initialize variable, which allow us to set up a variable, which is then connected on create. And we can then use it inside our button. So I'll just late init variable. Let's call it text input a bit more clear. And it's going to be of type edit text, we would then uncreate. So when the application is loading, I would then set my text input to be equal to find view by ID, R dot ID, and R is kind of like the backend of everything. I will then look in our IDs, and we would then like to find our text input. We now have our edit text component. To use this to get our text, we would then change inside our button click method that we now print our text input dot text. So then very simply access the text from our text input. We can now then run our application and we will then see that we now have this very simple application with a click me button or text input. I would then simply input some text. Let's just do test. You would then look inside our lock pad. And we can now see that our system out would print test. I can then change this to be test two, test two. Click me, we could delete here, we could do anything. Press the console. And just the last interesting thing to note, actually, if we try to print when it's empty, we're actually not printing anything. But that is how we very simply inside an activity main XML can add our edit text as plain text in this case. We then give it an ID. We then create our variable. We then access our actual component through our r.id. Whatever ID we gave it. And we then simply access the text from this edit text component by doing our text input the text. So if you enjoyed this quick showcase of how we can get user inputted texts in Android and more specifically Kotlin, please leave a like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day.